How is everybody today? Welcome. Uh, we are going to be starting off with uh, the cycle. If you guys haven't heard about it already, it is a it's kind of like a it's a Tarkov game. It's a bit more casual than Tarkov plays a little differently than Tarkov, but the baseline of the game is very Tarkov. I'm excited to play a little bit more. We did a sponsored stream on Saturday for them, and uh, I assume that was just pretty much to get me addicted to their game, so then I would give it a bunch of free promotion for playing it a ton because it's hella fun. Should be a good one. Also, little to no distractions are left in my life. I had my mom here for the last two weeks, so we've been real distracted, just kind of hanging out with her and, and, and streaming and doing that type of stuff. But now that we have little to no distractions, we are going to be live 2 p.m. CST to 8 p.m. CST, Monday through Friday, for the foreseeable future. We have no vacations until Christmas, so we are just straight up vibing. And it looks like we unlocked a, uh, a weapon here for the login, and I think that was the weapon that I popped off with yesterday a little bit so i'm a little curious i think it is yeah the lacerator i don't think i'm gonna start with that we're gonna go on a budget run to start but a bing but a boom and we can take a couple of stims access the generator your headquarters what's what's up there is that my headquarters up there i believe it is what up webby it might not be much now but with Ooh. a bit of work and a lot of duct tape it'll Hell feel yeah. just like home so this is the the hideout of the game now, pretty much the quarters that you can yourself. upgrade consistently as you play so with generators inventory increases workbenches this will like generate money and items and stuff for you over time as you upgrade it and then of course you guys know storage increase increases your storage pretty obvious but for like such an early access play test i'm having a hell of fun already you have till november 1st i believe to request access on steam so you guys can do that at any point in time if you want, it's still as much as we've only done one sponsored stream underneath the stream. There's a button that says the cycle. If you click that and uh, check out the game through that click, it does help support the stream. So let's jump in. I haven't even played the second map yet. I've literally only played one map because I suck at this game so far. I can aim, but I'm getting I'm just trying to figure out a little bit more of the mechanics of it. One thing I like so far is how quickly you get into a game. The one thing I hate about Escape from Tarkov is how slowly you get into a game. Like, truly. Just terribly slow, man. There's so much downtime and so much inventory and so much, like, clicking on questers and traders and ugh. There's so much going on. This is just like, I press a button, I'm in with what I got. And so this world is six hours until it refreshes. So I could be five hours deep into a session right now. And you can literally stay into the session as long as you want. The cycle will come through, a storm that will force you out. But you can literally run around this world for six hours if you get into a fresh world. So that's pretty wild. You can extract at any point using the drop pods. But our main objective is going to be these quests. We need to get some more scrap metal, some velocite, and some spinal bases. Completing these quests upgrades our factions. And upgrading our factions will allow us to purchase better weapons, better armor... Defeating the aliens and stuff, we can craft armor and helmets and weapons and shit as well, so. I don't want to kill everything we want. I learned the hard way yesterday that the aliens are indeed powerful. You do not want to get surrounded by the aliens. Everything is out to kill you, and real fast, especially with the lower tier gear. I think I can get in this from going this way. Okay, so the, a duo just dropped in right there. You see that? <laughs> So we're going to fuck right off. <laughs> I'm not staying. I do not want to face a duo. There's so many aliens down here, man. Oh, fall damage is wild, too. On top of that, there is, like, mining and stuff. So we find these nodes around. This is going to be some nickel. That we can take back with us to help us craft some things. There's also meteors that we can mine up. Which are a rarer crafting material for some more advanced weapons. I don't know how I'm going to get down here efficiently without absolutely murdering my legs. Here we go. Cool. I'm going to start heading the other direction. Also, today we're going to start uploading all of our Twitch VODs to the people over on uh, the YouTube membership front. So if anybody over on YouTube is watching this after the fact, hello, XD. I'm just going to try to like stick to the outskirts since I'm solo. I don't want to kill 
See, that's a spitter. That one we don't want to go anywhere near. I'd like to kill the little guys, though. I need their tails for an objective and for upgrading my, uh, my hideout. I think I'm being chased right now. Oh, shit balls. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Ooh, weapon box. Quick, quick, quick. Run, 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 run. This is why I like checking these outskirts. Nobody in the world has really ran these outskirts yet, but we just got a manticore, with, which I've never used. A flechette assault rifle, heavy hitting, but less accurate. We also have grenades. Oh, an audio decoy. Okay, so we can use that if we're being chased just to juke some people. Again, I don't want to fight spitters, but I don't mind fighting these little red guys. Because I need what they got. I need their mandibles, their spinal bases, their tails. I need all of it. That's a big boy. We don't fight big boys either. I'm going to try to sneak around the back here. Jungle camp extreme danger? Guess what extreme danger means though. It means hella loot. I don't know if this big guy's on me right now. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay. Maybe we return after a Diagro situation? There's gonna be some goodies in there, man. Ooh, a rare Ivy Blossom. It does look like they Diagroed those two. Might be able to sneak our way back in. Oh, uh, see, the big boy's still facing this way. Need him. Oh, shit. Nope. I wonder if we can tap him out. Oh, oh, he fell down. I might be able to just go in and he'll be stuck down there. Let's see. There's some spit on the ground from him spitting. Shit. Let's see if we can get some loot. I'd like some ammo for this better assault rifle. There are spe specific keys and stuff. Uh, see? Dangerous areas. Dangerous enemies. I might be able to take these spitters out, though. They're not that crazy strong. Just gotta dodge that attack and hit him in the orange spots. The thing is, while I'm making all this noise, other players are obviously hearing the noise. listen for a second. What is this? A biological sampler. We can't carry very much because we haven't really upgraded our uh, our hideout very much yet. What we really want is gun cases, ammo cases, that type of stuff. Here's another. Ooh, an actual grenade. Here we go. Got some ammo out of that. So now we have some ammo for this guy. I've never used this gun before, but I know flechette is that like blue bullet. And I've been hit by some flechette guns in the past. It does some freaking damage. We don't really need heavy ammo. We'll get rid of that. I'm going to try to prioritize stuff based on weight. Nickel is not very in important right now. And material scanner isn't either. I'm going to put on a new set of armor with refreshed herbal. I'm going to close this behind me so we can't be flanked. There's so much stuff in here. Holy crap. Gas grenades. We also, yeah, we have... Attachments that we can put on guns. The thing is, attachments can't be applied to guns when in-game. I'll put that in my safe pocket. AKA my gamma container. But I did just get a key for something. A generic key card. Some someone drew a house on it. So anything that's locked with the icon of a house, I believe I can open now. Multi-tool, SMG. We'll drop the pistol for the SMG. I think the SMG uses pistol ammo, so that's chilling. Shard Slicer. See, all this stuff just seems extremely rare and uncommon, so that's why I'm kind of scooping it up for later crafting. Okay. I'm uh, much more looted than how I came in. 
So I'm going to start investigating for a dropship to get the hell out. Which is just kind of a random roaming chance to go around to any of these named locations and listen for a beacon, and then you can call in a dropship to get out. Oh shit, those guys hurt a lot. Careful, careful, careful. Those are like, uh... They're ticks, pretty much. From Halo. Oh god, oh god. I'm gonna jump down. I don't know if they're gonna chase here. We gotta get out of here. It's just bad all around. All right, we're going to check each of these locations for dropship locations. You can see that random meteor shower coming in. Yes, you can get killed by it. I'm just going to kind of roam through here. I'm going to try not to aggro any aliens. I don't hear a beacon for extraction, but the cycle, the storm is starting to come in. So the map is going to start closing out, which generally means no new players are going to be landing. But I have seen some land sometimes during the storm. Ooh. This gun's much better than the pistol. I'll tell you that. I'm just going to ignore that entirely and just keep moving. But I think my best bet is single tapping on this gun. We have the SMG for close range if shit gets wild. Someone in front of me somewhere. a friend let's see what he's wa rocking um mandibles for my quest a little bit of extra light ammo and some currency this gun does kind of clap low-key just listening for a beacon as we walk around someone extracting behind us it sounds like no extracts no beacon man yeah i need to go to here that's all we have left the only viable one we have left. I'm not going back north. Fuck that. How much you're carrying does affect your running speed as well, which doesn't help. And I'm carrying a ton of shit because I came in here with a pistol and that's it. This water facility as well is always popping with people. People three, team of three right here. going to separate the solo. Throw a decoy that way. Man, that guy had me tracked even beforehand. That was a group of three. Oh, bro, what are the fucking chances? I can't wait till it's like a little queued differently so that way you're not a solo going into trios, but it kind of keeps that Tarkov effect. Shit, man. I beamed that guy up top too. I'm surprised he didn't die. He must've been like one HP. So we don't get out with anything besides what we had in our pocket, which is a foregrip. The thing is, even when you call extract, there's still a good chance that someone rolls up and fucks you before you get into it, too. You die so fast in this game with the lower tier. I, oh, not a backpack. I need uh, armor. I could just go in with the dope-ass rifle that we got off of uh, logging back in, but I prefer not to. Run it back. Right into it. See? Yeah, like having like an 80% survival rate in this game is not possible compared to, to Tarkov. In my opinion, I stopped playing Tarkov when I was like level 32 or something, 80% survival rate, just kind of like got bored at that point because it really is just an easy game once you get the flow of things and know where things are, you know, 
And as we kind of get the flow of this game, we'll get a better idea. What I'll probably do now is, since I have extraction over here, I'm just going to loot over there. That way, if we just get real juicy and we want to get out, we'll be able to get out real quick. There is someone looting in here. There might be two. See you later, buds. <sighs> okay. Another player just dropped in right there. Auto rifle. With a red dot on it. Yeah, that guy's a little bit uh, better geared than I am. Which, honestly, this is a pretty decent opportunity to dip. Ooh, but there's a fight going down. There's a fight going down in this town right now. I just like having the medium backpack, to be honest with you. Got some decent stuff. Nothing for our quest, but just like additions, you know? Just having that extra shit is nice. The cycle is headed in. We're just going to attempt for extract. There's also puzzles placed all over the map to like open doors. There's obviously the specific key cards. Loot is based on the location and the difficulty of the location. Call and drop ship. Let's see if we can get out. I'm just going to sit and listen, really. Thing is, everybody on the map is going to see this massive drop ship just in. And it doesn't leave right away. We have to sit on that drop ship for a minute. So we're going to let it come down and let it sit for a second before we run in. Let's scoop up, scoop up excess. While we're chilling. We might be fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Famous last words, though, huh? Oof, there we go. Okay. That was a quick one, but we got out with shit. <sighs> I'm happy. Look at all that. Look at all that. I'm more excited about the medium backpack, personally. We need one more spinal base, and I really need to... I'm going to do, do a questing run this time, I think. Cool. Let's drop it in. We're going in pretty geared this time, but we're going to try to quest if we can. Easy enough. We can also insure our stuff, but I don't have enough money to do that right now. So, all right. Going in geared as heck. We're spawning in the swamp. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So this is the last raider. It's like a one-shot rifle. You can pretty much one-shot headshot just about anybody. I really need to upgrade to get to the bigger backpacks, man. I need them shits so bad. It's so nice having this medium. I'd already be practically full if I didn't have it. I wonder if they put me here based on the tier of gear I have. Because I have some tier 2 stuff on me. And they spawn me in like a moderate like tier two zone. So I wonder if the gear you spawn with is where they tend to place you first. I mean, it'd be cool. Well, that guy was lurking real hard. Let's see if he's got some Sims. Nope, just regular med kits. That guy was really lurking, huh? Another guy just landed. There we go. That's our final spinal base. I'm going to get out, though, because that guy just landed. I don't know what kind of gear he's going to have. That guy just landed, too. Jeez, they're landing all around us, huh? And I believe this is an early world. Like, one that hasn't been going on very much, because there's a shit ton of people landing. 
And two, I'm hearing nothing but gunfire. Just gonna head up north from here, maybe. I might just wide flank. Someone just landed right there. These extracts are so far away, bro. I'm not even trying to extract. I just want to get near them before I start looting. I mean, I already did loot quite a bit of shit. Right there. So that's the stuff I need to mine. Told me to find it around waterfalls. Here we go. Here we go. Everything we need for the quest. I just need another spinal base and some more scrap metal. Obviously, we have to extract with it. Someone here. Another shotgun pistol newbie, so we're vibing. Yeah, just like, honestly, peeker's advantage doesn't exist in this game, which is super nice. And shotguns suck balls so far. At least the lower tier shotguns, I find out. Honestly, I prefer the pistol over the assault rifle most of the time, but in that scenario, that guy got smoked. We have some attachments on this assault rifle too. That's gonna just really make it a, a tad bit easier to control. And now we have the storm starting to set in. Big tall fuck. Because I would like to get all of my objectives done, but honestly, I have one done. We might as well just work to getting out. Okay, that's a player right there, obviously. Down and out for the count. I think this dude just spawned. We're just farming him, huh? I'm going to do this thing where I sprint... And when I get low on stamina, I'm going to crouch and listen. Get my stamina back. Sprint. Crouch. Listen. Audio is so important in this game. The dude in this bush. You guys just heard those hot swaps close, right? Oh, I might have got him with that nade. Oh, I, I got him with the nade, bro? <laughs> See you, dude. He swapped weapons. I heard it through a nade. I thought he was in the close bush, and I actually overthrew the close bush nade. And it went into his bush. <laughs> so, like, I wasn't even, like, intending to kill him in that bush, but the nade overthrew. So, here we are, dude. God, I am working my way across the map. We got four fucking kills right now. I am just trying to get to extraction, man. That's all I'm trying to do. I hear my extraction, and it looks like it's out in the open. Alright, let's call it. I'm gonna use this rock, I think. If anything. Eh, I don't like any of this, man. Fuck. Give it a couple seconds, wait for the doors to actually open on it so we can get some cover. There we go. Make the jump. Actually, all things considered, this is actually a pretty decent extract spot. There's only one way you can get like pushed from, right? So it's out in the open, but overall pretty decent one. Hell yeah. No cover, but it's up on a rock, so the only way up is climbing or doing whatever the hell. 688 old currency, tons of loot, and we completed a quest. All right, so we just need another spinal base and scrap metal. So we'll just keep questing with this kit, to be honest. Inventory will go here and two times optic, and we also grab this tactical stock out. So now we have a scope on the rifle and a tactical stock. So generators is what's just gonna give us like a whole bunch of extra shit all the time. Um, but I want inventory. I want to be able to craft better backpacks. One. Dash size we don't need yet. 
this is real good too we need some strider flesh so this is going to increase the amount of weight our safe pocket can hold so we can start throwing questing items in there we can actually upgrade our workbench right now reduce prospector quarter upgrade times by three percent works for me if we go over here i can also start looking into like some of the real rare items that i'd like to keep holding on to so we can craft like these obscene weapons like the karma one you need all of this stuff 1.12 million credits six velocite hearts 42 compound sheets three shock absorbers and a meteor core what is a hundred damage kinetic raw power sniper rifle the zeus beam half the price but just as many materials this is where we can get some real good stuff we can start buying better armors actually and crafting them so what i want to keep an eye out for we can easily mine because i'd like to get some tier two armor going this is the tier three stuff we don't really need to worry about that quite yet so let's start mining nickel and start grabbing some strider heads and we can get better helmets rattler skins nickel medical supplies so a lot of nickel so we'll go for some nickel the better backpack we can actually craft better backpacks right now hell yeah 670 and just salvage insulation the next one up is textiles and hardened bone plates and we can even start working on better attachments as well we just need metallic metallic alloys we need some more spinal bases compound sheets and scrap metal another just quest run run it back we're we responding this time i wish i could look at my map while we're in the lander just to like really think of a situation all right we spawned where we extracted here's our new two time scope there pretty cool all right so this is again just the situation where i'm gonna hug outskirts we're gonna loot some stuff along the way and we're gonna just try to get to an extraction point and that's where we'll decide what we're doing i always see these things everywhere what are these did someone like place that oh where's this one going oh we are rolling up on this one He's not dead. Whoops. Let me just do that real quick. <laughs> I thought he died, bro. I thought he died. I literally thought he died. He stopped moving like he like turned into the foam, which is what happens when you die. But I guess not. Just a quick gank and we'll get right back in. Okay, so is this early? This feels early. Oh no, the storm's already going, huh? It's like bright and stormy. That's weird. We are going to go through the jungle, which is the absolute worst. I guess we could hug up top like we were last game. I wonder if where you extract does actually influence where you land. Because it seems like everywhere where I extract, it seems like that's where I land. Except for the one where I landed swamp. But I feel like I landed swamp after a death, right? Hey, heck yeah. We need some strider fresh for, or flesh for some upgrades. I need to get some mandibles, but I don't want to shoot and give myself away. So we'll look to see if there's people leaving them behind. There's so much fighting over by the comms tower, too. I actually need to kill these. Come here. Because I need these. There we go. Just working my way to the comms tower. We'll loot along the way. We'll loot at the comms tower, then we'll extract. Oh, I need nickel. being shot from pkr maelstrom semi-automatic shotgun hmm good thing i didn't let that guy get close problem is someone just landed on the fucking comm tower and i really want this nickel i'm gonna try to come from like north of the comm tower I hear a fight over here, too. Wow. This guy just skipped by a bunch of loot over here. 
Um, I think I'm going to run past Comms Tower and I'm going to go for this far south extract. We have two quests on us and there's just too much shooting over here. And that extract is in the middle of nowhere to the point where I don't think anybody will contest me. I just think it's the safer play. Especially just with the aliens here, man. I don't know. I mean, we're here. Oh, shit. Those things do a fuck ton of damage, by the way. Ah, oh, fuck. A duo just popped in right there, huh? I didn't see those. Not good, not good. One thing that I definitely want in this game, though, is a uh, XP system. Just levels, just to unlock. It was just like some base level stuff. Be able to just get your account leveled to like 20 or something. That way you can start buying green items. Yeah, the only thing that this has in common with Satisfactory is definitely, like, uh, uh, the graphics, really. And that's it. I'll tell you right now, real good for FPS. I'm at 144 almost all the time. We got two quests done. Keep vibing. I just want to get to the point where I am absolutely just, like, kitted with the dopest armor and strong-ass guns. And people roll up to me, can't kill me, and I just fucking... It's like wearing Ulton and fucking Ford armor, you know? This is the evac zone. We could get pushed here. Might be fine, though. This is kind of another good extract spot. We can really only come from here. I think we're good. Alright, good little quest run there. Nice. I wonder if it would still it would show players as you extract if there was one running up. Oh yeah, I'd love to start rolling this as a squad. We were doing duos with Slick the other day.